Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to another episode of Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at nbt.prd.co.th. I'm Ka Chang Wei Jia Jin. Today we are covering uh, diplomatic ties, a crackdown on unripe fruit exports, and Thailand's ambitions in the maritime tourism sector. And first off today, Thailand and uh, Vietnam are now strengthening their bilateral relationship. And a recent meeting between Prime Minister Se Tha Thu Sin and Vietnamese Foreign Minister Bu Than Son really highlighted the commitments of both countries to boosting trade, tourism, and regional cooperation. And both leaders also discussed collaborating under the ACMAX framework, showing that Thailand sees value in working alongside other regional powers um, to advance economic development. And this visit could also lead to both countries upgrading their diplomatic relationships in the future. Now, we all know strong relationships with its neighbors are essential for Thailand's long-term stability and prosperity. These kinds of high-tech or high-level meetings, in a sense, not only resolve specific issues but also set the stage for broader collaboration in tackle regional challenges um, that every country faces. And uh, just get ready for stricter quality control on uh, Thai durian exports, because new standards are being implemented to ensure that the fruits is ripe and also meet specific dry weight requirements. And the move aims to uh, protect consumers, especially those in China, from getting subpar durians. And while global demand for Thai durian is now soaring as we know it. It's important to really maintain product quality. Happy customers are, you know, very likely to keep coming back for more, boosting the long-term health of the durian export markets from Thailand. And these new standards also signal Thailand's seriousness about building a reputation as a global supplier of high-quality agricultural products in the future. And uh, for our uh, final story today, the southern province of Phuket is investing heavily to uh, become a major destination for yacht tourism, and with a significant increase in yacht and cruise liner traffic in recent years, um, the transport ministry is now pushing to uh, really enhance the island's port facilities through public-private partnerships. And this is not just about luxury yachts; developing a robust maritime infrastructure. You know, could also attract more cruise ships, boosting tourism revenue from a different demographic. And investing in these kinds of projects has the potential to diversify Phuket's tourism economy and make it more resilient for the long term. Today, we have covered high-level diplomacy efforts to ensure the quality of major agricultural exports and Thailand's push to become a maritime tourism hub. And these diverse stories highlight the dynamism of the Thai economy and the ambition to compete on the global stage in multiple sectors. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm Ka Chang with Jot Jit. สวัสดีครับ Soft power refers to a country's capacity to use attraction or persuasion. Rather than force to affect the preferences and actions of different actors in the international arena, states, corporations, communities, publics, etc. More than ever, as the nations must develop a deliberate, well thought out soft power strategy to advance, strengthen, and defend their interests, both domestically and globally. In light of the highly unpredictable global environment and the impending realities of the fourth industrial and technological revolution, a number of nations have adopted the soft power phenomenon as a defining feature of their national brands, such as South Korea's Creative Korea policy and Japan's Cool Japan, which are founded on cultural costs, creativity, and technology. This is evident in the success of the music and film industries in these countries, as a major financial hub 
and an example of good governance for many other countries in the region, Singapore is leading the way in ASEAN in terms of soft power. It is ranked 21st in the world. Additionally, ranked in the top 50 worldwide are Malaysia, 39th, Thailand, 41, and Indonesia, 45th. As their popularity as travel destinations grows, they are also investing in building powerful corporate brands that will boost their soft power globally. In order to boost the value of goods and services and the nation's competitiveness, the current administration has made it a priority to further promote Thailand's soft power. After Prime Minister and Finance Minister Seta Tawisin chaired the National Soft Power Strategy Committee meeting, the National Soft Power Strategy Committee was established and composed of members of the public and private sectors as well as experts in the soft power industry, thus enhancing and advancing Thailand's reputation and position globally. Moreover, the committee intends to implement a number of initiatives and strategies to advance the soft power industry's 11 sectors. Food, sports, festivals, travel, music, books, film, games, Art, design, and fashion are among the 11 industries. Furthermore, it is these five F's of food, film, fashion, fighting, which is Thai martial arts, and Thai traditional festivals that support Thailand's creative industry's entry into foreign markets as significant uses of soft power. Hence, the concept of soft power goes beyond exporting goods and culture. It is a strategy for advancing international, social, and economic tides. Particularly, in light of the COVID-19 recovery, soft power has emerged as a crucial instrument for increasing economic value. With a focus on innovation and technology, the Thai policy seeks to establish a creative economy based on knowledge, intellectual property, experience and creativity, connected to culture and society. In addition to serving as a link to support the advancement and more efficient application of soft power, these strategies involve planning conferences, trade shows and seminars that feature both domestic and foreign events. Highlighting Thailand as a top travel destination rich in history and beauty for people worldwide. The objective is to present Thai cultural technology and innovation in new ways, all in an effort to drive a continuous economic push.